Um, this is from Bounding in the Comics. James Gunn claims that he didn't fire Henry Cavill from Superman. Says Henry was never cast. We didn't, we didn't hire him. We didn't, we didn't fire him. We just didn't hire him. Nice, 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 nice choice of words, dude. It's like, hey, we're not firing you. We're just not renewing your contract. We're just letting you go, right? We're not firing you. We're just letting you go because firing you means that you don't get severance. No, shit like that. All right, let's go ahead and continue. DC Studios CEO James Gunn provided a bizarre explanation for the decision to not have Henry Cavill continue as Superman following his cameo as the character in Black Adam. In a wide-ranging expose discussing Gunn and Peter Saffron's upcoming slate for the DCU, Gunn also addressed the decision to not have Cavill continue as Superman. He told The Hollywood Reporter, We didn't fire Henry, he was never cast. For me, it's about who do I want to cast as Superman and who do the filmmakers we have want to, uh, want to cast. And for me, for the story, it isn't Henry, Gunn explained. Of course. Of course, you're not going to bring him back. You know, he said, shit. Uh, increasingly, uh, Gunn indicated that Jason Momoa as Aquaman, and, uh, Zachary Levi as Shazam, and Ezra Miller as Barry Allen. God, dude. I hope Ezra Miller no longer plays a Flash after the Flash. Bring, bring in someone else. Barry Allen, okay. Zolo Miri Duena. Is it, didn't this guy play uh, Miguel, right? Yeah, Blue Beetle. Yeah, Blue, Blue Beetle? Yeah, Miguel from uh, Cobra Kai. They could potentially continue on their rows. Wait, what? I should have finished the sentence. Ezra Miller, I'm going to, could potentially continue on their rows as Gunn's new vision of these. <gasps> Son of a bitch. He said there's nothing that prohibits that from happening. Yeah, you mother. Gunn will also address the rumors that he doesn't like Cavill. Those rumors uh, surfaced from YouTuber Den of Nerds, who claimed on Twitter James Gunn does not like Henry Cavill. Gunn retorted uh, on Twitter, uh, James Gunn doesn't like Henry Cavill. Care to debunk this one? Sure. False. Uh, however, Den of Nerds wasn't buying Gunn's statement and responded even more. Uh, people have reached out to me since you said this. Uh, uh, to tell me you really don't like him. Just saying what I heard. Gundam decided to insult him. So weird. You seem to be so plugged in. Anyway, I just had 40 people reach out to me to say you got kicked out of your mom's basement. So sorry, man. Wow. Uh, that, uh, that's uh, very uh, stupid of you, uh, James Gunn, for arguing with a person on Twitter. Uh, Gunn told The Hollywood Reporter, I like Henry. I think he's a great guy. I think he's getting dicked around by a lot of people, including the former regime at this company. But this Superman is not Henry eh, for a number of reasons. Gunn didn't explain what those reasons are, but he previously indicated it is due to his age. And ask why Henry Cavill is getting recast as Superman. Gunn told me, as I said yesterday, it's very simple. His, he's a different age. Wait, Henry Cavill is like early 40s? Or is he like 38? Henry Cavill age. He's 39. He's not even that old. Sorry. Sorry. Getting upset. Getting upset. He's not even that old. Wait. So if Henry Cavill plays for the next 10 years as Superman, he'll be 49. He might look old, right? Since he says that he's laid out this shit for like 10 years. Like, I can see him being a little older. Maybe he wants a Superman that's in his 20s, right? A person that's cast as Superman in his 20s. So in 10 years, he'll be in his mid-30s. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Gunn also appeared to address a recent comment he made claiming that he was looking for actors that are easy to work with. What? How? Wait, are you saying that Henry Cavill is not easy to work with because what he said on The Witcher? Because he said, as long as you don't mess with the lore and the source material and ruin that character's image. I'm going to continue reading. Responding to a Twitter user expressing their opinion that Gunn should not use the members of the Guardians of the Galaxy of the DCEU. I mean, DCU. Gunn said, we have hundreds of roles to cast. As I've always done, some will be brand new faces. Some will be actors I've worked with before. And some will be actors you know who I've never worked with. What matters the most is the actor fits the role and they're easy to work with. 
when asked about how he plans to deal with actors who stepped in controversy such as Shazam's Zachary Levi, who recently claimed the pharmaceutical company Pfizer is a danger to the world, Gunn told, act, uh, quote, told the Harvard Reporter, actors, filmmakers that I work with are going to say things that I agree with and things that I don't agree with. I can't be changing my plans all the time because an actor says something that I don't agree with. At, the uh, at some token, if someone is going to do something that is morally reprehensive, uh, reprehensible, that's a different story. And we have to take that into account. So here's the thing. I wonder if James Gunn was in charge of Star Wars and Lucasfilm, if Gino Carano would still be, uh, still be there. Right? The thing is that she didn't say anything. She just posted an image, right? And that's the reason why she got canceled. Dis Dis Disney just basically collapsed and just bent the knee to all these woke mods on Twitter and canceled her, right? They fired her. So I'm glad that he actually said this about Zach Levi. I don't, I don't think I actually uh, knew this, which is good, which is good because I, I think I made a video about it before saying that how Zachary Levi was probably going to get canceled, but I'm glad he's not. Uh, it's unclear what Gunn considers morally reprehensible given his past actions and tweets that reference child rape and pedophilia. As the chosen actor Jonathan uh, Rumi recently noted, much of what comes out of Hollywood is actually morally reprehensible, which is true. Hollywood is fucking corrupt. Uh, Rumi said during a speech at the March for Life, in the last several years, there has been sharp and disturbing increase in the darkness of the imagery being used in film, television, and music. The landscape has become increasingly sinister, and in some cases, even demonic in tone, more so than the previous years, sometimes subliminal, oftentimes overt. Storylines involving the occult, witchcraft, demons, and even satanic elements are commonplace in the mainstream uh, programming. Many feature spiritually and psychologically disturbing content. Absolutely. Shit like cuties. Uh, what do you think of James Gunn's comments about Cavill and how uh, he will deal with the actors and filmmakers and the subway controversy? So here's, 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 what, uh, here's what I think. Okay. Um, I think um, it sucks that you're not going to bring back Henry Cavill. I do understand your vision of him, you know, um, your 10 year timeline that you, you set up and stuff. But in my opinion, uh, it's just, it just sucks for Henry Cavill. Um, I think everyone uh, can, you know, loves him as Superman. And he's such a great person and, and just having him not come back just super, super sucks. And uh, I, we, I don't know. Well, it, it, I, I just hope this is good. I, I just hope all this shit, all this shit that comes out from the, the next 10 years from DC is going to be good. That's all I want. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.